Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will see how we can connect and configure the Vago field bus coupler with S7 1200 PLC or Profinet using TIA portal software. Before starting, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. As you can see that we have connected a 7-1200 PLC with the field bus coupler 750-370 with Ethernet cable. We have inserted one input card with 8 digital inputs and one digital output card with 16 outputs on the Vago field bus coupler. The diagram for the connection is like this. Next we have connected a switch and one proximity sensor at the first two input terminals of the input module and the 124 volt buzzer at the first output terminal of the output card. Next we will open the TIA portal software and create a new project in it. Once the project is created go to the options menu and click on the manage GSD files. Here we have to install the GSD file of the Vago bus coupler. Otherwise, we cannot add this module into our project. You can download the GSD files from the Vago website. We will browse the folder where we have downloaded GSD file and select the folder. Select the GSD file and click on the install button. Once the GSD file is installed, click on the add new device. Here we will add CPU S7-1200. We have to select the correct part number of the CPU and click on the OK button. Once the CPU is added, we will go to the network view and from the other field devices, we will browse to the Vago devices. And drag and drop the Vago 750-370 bus coupler. Next we will double click on the Vago module and go to the device view page. Here we will add the input and the output cards of the Vago bus coupler. Once the I.O. cards are added in the field bus coupler, go back to the network view. The Vago bus coupler is not connected to any network yet. So we will add this Vago module to the PLC Profinet network. Next we have to set the IP address of the device. We will start with the CPU, go to its properties. In the Profinet interface menu, we can see the IP address settings. We can change if we want to change the IP address. But for the today's project, we will leave it unchanged. Next, we will go back and select the Vago field bus coupler module. Here you can see the IP address 192.168.0.1. Let's suppose if we want to change the IP address to 192.168.0.5. We can change it, but we have to assign the same IP address to the Vago bus coupler as well. As we have connected Vago field bus coupler and the S7-1200 PLC to our PC via LAN card, we can access the field bus coupler and assign it the new IP address. We can use the online access option and browse the Ethernet LAN card of the PC. Here we will select the Vago module and open the online and diagnostic. Here in the function menu, we can see the IP address of the Vago module. We can change it to 192.168.0.5 and click on the assign IP address button. It will assign the new IP address to the Vago field bus coupler module. Next, we will open the OB1 block and make some logic in it to test the communication. Before we make any logic, we will open the device configuration to check the input and output addresses of the Vago I.O. modules. If we double click on the Vago module, it will take us to the device view. Here you can see that the input word addresses for the input module is starting from the 2. Output word address for the output module is also starts from the 2. Next we will go back to OB1 and make a simple logic to turn on the buzzer using the input and output addresses of the I.O. module. Now the programming is done, we will upload the project into the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. As you can see that the communication between S7-1200 PLC and the Vago field bus coupler is established over Profinet. If we turn on the switch, its contact closes in the ladder program. 
As we bring something of metal near to the metal detector sensor, the buzzer turns on. So this is how we can establish a communication between PLC and Vago field bus coupler over Profinet. I hope we have learned something in this video tutorial. If you like today's session, do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.